this week I was reading a scripture that really convicted me. I'm going to have to put my glasses on to read it to all of you. But um, I was reading in Psalm 101, and it's from verse 2. And it says, I will lead a life of integrity in my own home. And that verse just jumped. It convicted me to lead, lead a life of integrity in my own home. What does that look like, like to lead a life of integrity? And I think that we've talked about it this week already about what it means to talk the truth out with your kids. But I love what Nicole said on yesterday that just because we, we know like the truth of what's happening, truth and facts doesn't change the truth. There's a difference between the truth of what's happening and the truth, which is the word of God. And uh, one of the things that my husband and I have been doing since this started is just something simple that out of our, our gifting, something that we can do is we're doing a song a day and we do it online. And, and the thing is, is we're glad that people online are blessed by that. But our children are hearing us do that every day. They're observing what we're doing. They're watching what we're doing. I think that in your home right now, not just online church is what's so important to feed your heart and your soul, but how are you living a life of integrity in your own home? How are you living by the word of God? One of the things that practically um, I've been doing, not just through this, but in the past year, that might sound a little bit silly, but I promise you it'll feel silly when you first start it. But it is so powerful. And that is, I read the word of God out loud, like all the time. Instead of just looking at the word, I read it. I will sing of your love and justice, Lord. I will be careful to live a blameless. I read it out loud. So I'm not just seeing the word of God, but I'm hearing the word of God. Then not only am I hearing it, my kids are hearing it. My husband is hearing it. I walk through the house reading the word of God out loud. There's something about hearing it that makes it different than just reading it. Hearing comes, uh, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, right? And so for me, these are some practical things that we're doing in our home to live a life of integrity in our own home. And I think that it's also important to, to talk to you right now that are watching that are living in your home alone. And I know that some others are going to speak to this as well, but that if you're alone right now and you're hearing us talk about how to live this life for our kids and inside, there's a grieving in your heart because you feel so alone and so lonely. And I just want to take a second before we even move on any further and speak to you the truth. That though you may be physically alone, you are not alone. The word of God is true. It's the only unshakable thing in a very shaky time in life. It's the only unshakable thing that we have. And he promises over and over and over again, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Be strong and courageous for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. These are not just like nice ideas. These are truths. So if you're alone right now, and if you're feeling like, well, how do I live a life of integrity in my home? Because I'm by myself and I don't have anybody that's watching how I'm living. God is watching. The Holy Spirit is in you. Read the word of God out. Do you know that there was a time in my life where I dealt with anxiety and fear so strongly that I began to sleep <laughs> with the word of God open on my chest. Literally, I placed the Bible on my chest and slept with it open, not because it was somehow going to just seep into my pores, but because this is our comfort. It's the greatest comfort we have. And so read the word of God out loud, sing Sing out loud. I don't care if you can sing good. I've been hoping to sing like CC my whole life. My whole life. Sing your heart out. We make a joyful noise because these things practically are just a few things that you can do in your home in this season to change the temperature, not just in your home, but in your heart. And I promise you that as you do these practical things that might seem even kind of elementary, 
reading it out loud, singing loudly, sing childhood songs. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Sing songs of your youth because I promise you that those same truths that you memorized as a child, those are the things that are going to carry us through this season. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. And don't forget to check out our Better Together shop. Thanks for being a part of our community.